Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at finding the unit tangent vector and the unit normal vector of a vector function. And the vector function we have here is r of t equals t squared comma sine t and minus t cosine t comma cosine t plus t sine t. So this is uh, going to be pretty straightforward actually once we know what the definitions are. So the definitions if you recall, now the unit tangent vector is the tangent vector r prime divided by its magnitude. So the derivative in our minds that's always been associated with the tangent vector or the tangent curve or the tangent line to a curve. So then now in 3D the tangent vector takes place of the derivative basically. So this tangent unit tangent vector is the derivative or the tangent vector divided by its magnitude provided that it's not zero. And then the unit normal vector, by definition, is this tangent vector divided by its magnitude that makes it a unit vector as well. So we could actually show that the tangent vector is perpendicular to its derivative and that actually um, I'll link to a video where that's done. But uh, yeah, these are the definitions of the tangent and the unit normal vectors. So we have to start off by saying, okay, take the derivative of r of t. All right, so we got to take the derivative. We got r prime of t is going to equal 2t comma let's see derivative of sine is cosine don't put minus sine parentheses all right so now product rule for t times cosine t well the product rule says derivative of the first which is one times cosine so that just gives me cosine plus the first times derivative of the second, so that's going to be a negative sign for derivative of cosine times t, so negative t sine t. All right, so that's the second component. Then the last component is going to be negative sine t plus, and then product rule for t sine t is just going to be plus sine t plus t cosine t. All right, so then we simplify this to get r prime is really just 2t comma. Let's see, what cancels here? Is anything canceled? This cosine and this cosine, sine and sine. So yeah, we actually have some nice cancellations. So this minus minus is plus t sine t. And then this is plus or positive t cosine of t. So that worked out pretty nicely, actually. So then what's the magnitude of r prime? Well, the magnitude of r prime is just the magnitude of a vector. We take the square root of the square sum of the component. So that's 4t squared plus t squared sine squared plus t squared cosine squared. Ah, whenever we see a sine squared and a cosine squared, hopefully they have the same coefficient so that this can be factored out as t squared times sine squared plus cosine squared. So really this is just going to simplify to t squared times sine squared plus cosine squared which is just equal to t squared. So that's going to simplify that radical quite a bit so this is going to be square root 4t squared plus t squared, which is really just t times the square root of 5. And there's an assumption here that t is greater than 0, so we don't have to take the absolute value. So we'll just assume t is greater than 0. Uh, that should be given in the problem statement. Um, so yeah, that's our, um, that's our magnitude, or that's our r prime magnitude. So now we can figure out what this uh, capital T is. So capital T is going to be, well, just take this vector here, r prime, divided by this t square root of 5. So capital T then is going to be 2t over t square root of 5 is just 2 over square root of 5. The t's cancel. And then sine t over square root of 5. And then cosine t over square root of 5. And that is our tangent vector. So we got our tangent vector. Now we just need our normal vector, which means we have to take the derivative of this 
to get the normal vector. So let's do that now. All right, so we got T, capital T is the unit tangent vector. Now we need capital T prime for the unit normal vector. So capital T prime is going to equal, well actually the first term no longer depends on T, it's actually zero. If you take the derivative of two over square root of five, it's just zero. Derivative of sine is cosine, so this is cosine of t over square root of five. And then derivative of cosine is negative sine, so negative sine t over square root of five. And now I need to take the magnitude of t prime, and that's going to be the square root cosine squared t over five plus sine squared t over 5, and that's going to be square root of 1 over 5. So that's 1 over square root of 5. So now the normal vector, capital N, is going to be t prime over 1 over square root of 5. So that's going to be 0 over 1 over square root of 5. And then cosine of t over square root of 5 over 1 over square root of 5, and then negative sine t over square root of 5 over 1 over square root of 5. And now the square root of 5 is going to cancel in each case. So it's going to be 0 cosine of t and negative sine of t. And that's our unit normal vector. You can verify that these are normal vectors by taking their magnitude, and you should get that the magnitude is 1, and that is the case. And that's what we do.